Hey, what up, guys? It's uh, it's currently 4:28 4, 4, in the morning. I'm in my car, as you can see, and uh, I'm just waiting for two good buddies of mine, Joe and Lee, and we're gonna go on a little adventure. Uh, we got two places in mind. One of them's about a hundred miles away. The other's about 170 miles away. Um, through some stunning scenery hopefully but I don't know it's the middle of the night uh, so this should be interesting I'm not gonna give too much away and I hope the audio is okay I'm recording this on my phone but these should be some pretty awesome places if you like abandoned buildings and scary shit and potential breaking and entering charges depends how you look at it then this is the video for you if you like bunnies then go find something else but as it stands, it's the middle of the night, I'm waiting for two friends, and we're going to go somewhere really freaking awesome. So stick around, and I'll bring you back in a little bit, hopefully after the sun sun's risen, and I got a bit better light than the car interior light here. And let's see what happens today, this should be awesome. I have been to these places before, but it has been a long time. So it's probably a lot different to how I remember. Um, this should be fun though. This should be really freaking awesome. We're doing it on the weekend. As I said, it's early in the morning. So we got all the time in the world. This should be cool. So stick around and I'll see you in a bit. Through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And on and on we'll go. Through the wastelands, through the highways. And Sorry, bro. <laughs> Subscribe, Ben Phillips. Ooh. Wow. Me, Did you actually just shout that someone else's channel? Yeah. And me, by the way, Adventures with Joe. Yeah, and, and GT Gamer. Like, Joe. seriously, make sure you subscribe. Actually, no, don't subscribe to him. Subscribe to me. I need a million. Thank also, there's Lee. Hi, Lee. Hey, guys. <laughs> I think that might be it, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's it. Is that it? Is that the red dress house? No, it's not that one. No. No, it's, it is somewhere down here though, I remember. Pigeon. Gonna have to fucking try and get to the bad wire. Okay guys, as you can see, uh, Calcott Hall oh, yeah. is currently for sale. It is, I what don't know if you can see that. Grade 2 listed one? building. And, and the hall itself is over five, there. Uh, so stunning scenery, there's a beautiful little cliff over there. I uh, just wanted to show you that. But we're trying to get in now. We Last time we came was about three years ago. And uh, let's see if I can switch camera around. Yeah, last time we came was about three years ago. Um, it is for sale, as I said, so it might have changed a little bit. I don't know. Uh, we we might have to climb over. We've got a barbed wire gate there. So yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be fun. That is. So let's head into Calcott Hall. Come on, Joe. You got this, buddy. Ah. Uh, because you're designed to stay out, mate. Uh, and yes, for those who are gonna comment, this is technically trespassing. Uh, trespassing is a civil offence. So. As far as I know, can't get arrested for that one, so uh, yeah, try not to comment that. Ooh, front garden. Not as overgrown as I thought that would be. 
Right, this is the main driveway to Calcott Hall. All right, guys. So I think I think now is a good time. There's a barn over there. Now is a good time to tell you about the some of the history of this and why it's called the Red Dress House. So this is Calcott Hall. It was owned by a very wealthy lady um, in the 60s, I believe. And her husband unfortunately died and she became a recluse. And as far as I know, unfortunately, she committed suicide. I'm going to turn my camera. And the hall went into disrepair, as you can clearly see. But if you go up into the master bedroom, unfortunately, it's not there anymore. But um, there used to be a red dress and it was hanging on the wardrobe on a hanger. And the dress on the wardrobe, right next to it, was a picture of the owner of the house. There's the stables. We're in the red dress. So that's very eerie. So they ended up calling this the red dress house. As you can see there, it's a safe thing. Ooh, the car's moved. Guys. The car's moved. Last time we came, the car was in there. In the garage over there. Garage. See, you know, thing over there. Got an old uh, made in Britain, doesn't have a date on it, but that's very old, whatever that is. Wow, I thought my car was messy on the inside. Holy shiitake mushrooms. Yeah, this car was in the barn before. Check out the engine though. Should we see if it's got any oil in it? <laughs> Ugh, fucking stingies. Oh my god, someone's put a beer bottle in there. That's the engine. There's no oil in it, unsurprisingly, considering it's like broken. Right, house first or grounds? Uh, guys, this camera's here. <laughs> oh, shit. That's yeah. a new addition. That yeah, means we can't break they've, anything. They've upgraded this massively. Let's have a look. What's in there? Uh, just junk. Really, really old junk. Yeah, this place has like, oh, I just got a spider in the face. That's not good. Ah. There's been a fire. That's been on fire. Yeah, I was just having a quick look. Yeah. Oh. Do you know when this place was probably abandoned in the beta mode? 1973, but don't quote me on that. Let us know in the comments, guys. Oh, that's just a horse. Ah, oh, there's the door you're on about. That was... There's the other garage. That's the one we missed last time. Where's cameras? No, like camera signs. Holy oh. fuck, look at that. That is insane. That is so cool. So clearly this, this lady kept a lot of animals. And just in case anyone is wondering, we're not planning on causing any damage at all, um, other than the vegetation that we kicked down. Um, so yeah, we're not here to recklessly vandalise or to damage. We're just purely here, well, for documentary pur purposes, I guess. That's where the animals used to drink. It's very dark up there. Ooh, almost broke my leg then. Right. Last time we came here, we didn't see this garage. So, I want to know if the other car is there. <laughs> Joe and his mystical fences. <laughs> I don't think we can get in the actual house, guys, because as I said, I don't want to cause damage or anything. 
That's literally all that is. It's literally full of bullshit. Oh. So the car's not here anymore. What? J. Calvert and Co. 1959 it says up there. Yeah, that is super eerie. Unfortunately, the last time we came here, the roof had collapsed in a little bit. So, uh, front of the house. Yeah, everything is completely... I, I'm pretty sure this field belongs to someone else. Uh, but yeah, the land here is completely overgrown. I love, I love this is going for. Oh yeah, it's going for a lot. We'll Let's go in the comments, guys. <laughs> have, a guess, a, have a guess. Have a guess. Yeah, much is gonna Let's go for. Let's put a bid in. Uh, a bit of money. Hit this up. You never know. I'll put in two quid. Happily, 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 happily. I know I'm like two hours away from home, but I'll find a way to work. It's fine. So I suspect, and I don't know this, just a guess. But this building's Grade Two listed. So if you're outside the UK, what that means is it's essentially a, a national treasure. Uh, so it can't be destroyed. Like, look at that. that Unless window, you can see up there where the tree is coming out of. That was not like that when yeah. we last came here. But yeah, unless it causes a health risk, this building cannot be destroyed. Um, so it's grade two listed. That's what that's referred to as. So they've probably put the cameras up as some kind of deterrent slash protection to stop people damaging this building because it is. Very old. Uh, it's very expensive, and once a grade two building's damaged, it's considered an, e an economical write off. Oh, sure. Which basically means that they have to knock it down. Which, if it's protected, it's like if someone drew on the Mona Lisa. Not as bad, but it's, it's the same kind of, yeah. yeah. Do you know how much this was built and how much it went for? When she fucking uh, I have no idea. It was a farm, wasn't it? So. Yeah, well, put it this way, assume 1973 or 72 is correct. That would have been a brand new car and they had two of them. So, and cars ain't exactly cheap, are they? I can tell the farmland and all that type of stuff. Like the What's interesting though is the floor is reasonably well maintained. Yeah. I reckon I'll see someone it's it's someone. moss, but there's no grass. There's Look, you've got concrete some here. Unless people just come in just to try and keep the maintenance of it. Uh, I suspect like they'll have a skeleton crew that pops around now and again. Here, Check out the roof up there. The yeah, so this would be considered beyond repair, this yeah, would. You're not, you're not, I can't even go in the side, guys, but as you can see, the roof has collapsed in, the bags run from the... just everything. Yeah, if you ever do come and explore this place, just don't damage anything. Just, yeah. Just come and explore like we're doing. Oh, wow. Oh my god. There's some old pump down there. Man, you still got the fan the belt on it. Yeah, the roof's fucked. The roof is just completely caved in, like, it's just given up. Oh, there's a dial there as well. Might be able to zoom in, see what that is. It still has a floor here. Although, saying that, I wouldn't trust it. There's still a floor in this one, Joe. There's actually still a floor in there. Yeah. Oh god. This is all just stables. Uh, pretty sure that connects to the toilet, probably. <laughs> yeah. A thousand likes. You already know my hundred K subscribers, my brother's. Thousand likes and I'll drive, mate. Thousand likes and I will drive you. Oh wow. Oh wow. This does not feel kosher. That's a stingy. Let's not touch that. Ooh! Joe! There's windows intact! <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Whoa, is that floor fucking safe? No, of course it's not. Look at right, it. Look at the... I don't know if you can see because it's quite dark in here, guys. And behind door number three! Oh, it doesn't open. <laughs> no, I don't want to break that. I mean, try. If it no, falls off its yeah. hinges, it's Joe's no, fault. Sorry, guys. You can see I am, I am programming. Yeah. 
We're intentionally not damaging stuff yeah, here. Not dam if I can go in there, I do apologise, but I'm not going to risk breaking anything. Uh, electronics in this room, so be very careful. Pay, uh, respect. Oh my god, look at the roof. I'm five foot, let's call it five foot eleven. I'm headbutting this. <laughs> I actually got safe in here for mine, guys. I'm going to get the camera up here. I'm hoping that I'll get a good shot of that. There's some kind of old structure out there, but I can't tell. Oh, there's a way out. If I get crushed by a roof, my last will and testament is as follows. Oh <laughs> what happened? Did you have a jump scare? <laughs> I think this is all of the all of the same. Oh, ooh, that's a cool detail we didn't see, Joe. Check out the aerial on the roof, Joe. Aerial on the roof. I know, I That's very old. Inside. Right, we're coming to the end of our tour now. As I said, guys, we're not going to break in to the yeah, main I, part of the I building. Can't get in naturally, when they break in stuff, I'll climb. But if I can't get in the power from that, I won't be going in there. So not damaging anything. Yeah. I'm all for exploring. I think people should have the right to explore within reason. But you can't. You can't vandalise valuable old stuff. It looks like a power box in there for electricity. If it is, I'm not done it. That's what it looks like. It probably is a fuse box for this room. That looks like an old oven. Mm, it does indeed. Might be like a little outhouse or something, guys. Let's pop through here. I want to go see that little outbuilding by there. Watch the door. Oh, I had to step over that. Uh, those are electrical cables, do not touch them. Like, I doubt the electricity's on. Oh, there's a fuse box. We actually came through this way, but this was here, and I made climbs through there, and he actually went through and opened the door. Yeah. As you can see, look at that. Like, you might be able to get your cam. Let's see if we can uh, get a cam. No, I'm not suggesting break the padlock, but. You see? I don't know if you guys can see anything. Yeah, but... guys, I don't know if you guys can see anything either, but. I saw something. I'm, I'm try and get the best I can. What I can get. Yeah, even underneath this building is concrete. They've just gone on to something. This is the bit where the camera fails and uh, the padlock falls off as we're trying to fix it. Yeah, So uh, give us two minutes. No, I'm kidding. No, no, we're not going to do anything like that. I am really good. We can't get in. If we do get in, I will. I'll spray in the edit, but at this moment, I don't think so. Okay guys, earlier, so we said, uh, guess how much the manor over here is worth? Yeah, we just heard off some locals, uh, I'm not, I, I will fact check this, but oh, apparently some that is for sale for £700,000. <laughs> so if you want it, 700 grand. Okay guys, so we can hear people. Um, so we're going to head off now, we're going back to the car. Uh, this is part one of my video, there's going to be a part two. Uh, as I alluded to earlier, we're going to go up and film that now. Uh, so we've got another about 80 miles, I'd say, to drive. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, my feet are already hurting, just thinking about that. But we're going to do that, and I genuinely believe that the next one will be at least twice as interesting as this one. So make sure you come back for that. And if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Uh, I do appreciate the audio might be a bit crap. I'm recording this on my phone, so... I need to invest in a camera, basically. But yeah, if you find this interesting, hit that like button, uh, subscribe down below, check out my friend's channel, AWJ, AWJ Adventures with Joe. It will be linked in the description, don't worry, I know it's a stupid name, don't. Shh. So yeah, uh, join us for part two, that shall be coming out soon. <laughs> Peace out, guys. <laughs>